I think it all really reverts back to the, that childhood. You know, the, the bull is something that has drove me since I started doing this. And I can't remember the day I started, but I was a little bitty kid when, it's, when, when this all started taking place. And I'd say I was a cowboy before I was born. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't think I had a choice. You know, weekly we were going to, to an arena somewhere, either for a rodeo or for a barrel race or team roping. And uh, I'd be over in the corner running circles and acting like a crazy kid fighting bulls, you know. It's just something that's been in me and since I can remember. You know, the competition aspect of the freestyle bullfighting is, is literally where I cut my teeth, is where I really feel like got my career rolling. There's lots of nights that tying all my cleats, you know, I'm sitting there talking to God, you know, like, man, is this it? Like, you know, is this is this what life's meant to be is, you know, to, to end this way right here, you know, competing against some of the meanest bulls that's been known that when the days get going that we're into some really hot ranked bulls and and you're beat up, you know, you've got some broke ribs or, you know, you're, you're just, you're absolutely just mangled. You know, you, you've got to dig down deep and, and figure out that fire and, and find out, you know, if you really want to go get this. I, I owe a lot of credit, I think, back to them bullfight days because it's all mental, you know, at the end of the day, dealing with fear, de dealing with everything, the anxiety, the, the emotions that come with, with bullfighting. Some days can be, can be hard to handle. Nowadays, you know, this far into my career, it seems like it's, uh, it's not a job. I work hard at what I do, and you know, it all reverts back to that childhood kid being in that arena, uh, running around with a pair of baggies and a, and a pair of cleats on. You know, it, it makes it all worth it. That feeling you get when you have an animal raining in on you that has nothing on his mind other than to get to you and hurt you. There's no other feeling like it. And there is some days that it does feel like it, you know, it couldn't end quicker. But also when you're when you're out there mixing it up with a bad one and, and literally can take something that's so dangerous, that's so strong, that's so fast, and literally can control his mind, his movement, and his body, all with what I'm doing. When you get all that in the perfect storm and literally can dance with an animal, It is an art, and it's something that uh, is, it, it's so beautiful. It's something that, you know, it, it's hard to really put into words. That intimacy with the bull and seeing the, the muscles move on their head, you can see the ear movements, kind of how they're running with their, their heads cocked to, to be able to, to really deliver that punch hard when they get to you. You know, you're, you're taking in all this data in a, in a matter of, you know, a half second. I mean, there's so many little fine details that makes the dance so good. To me, bullfighting is bullfighting. And that's that's what I live on. That's that's what I teach. That's what I coach. That's what uh, you know. When you go to really splitting things up and trying to differentiate in between, you know, the freestyle and the cowboy protection, it's the same movements. It's the same steps. Just sometimes you you've got a cowboy involved, and other times you don't. But if you can't save yourself. Uh, I don't I don't think you can save somebody else. Bullfighting is bullfighting. Called crazy a bit here lately just for the fact of the amount of fighting bulls and cows that we have on the ranch. Uh, our, our home place has turned into nothing but a, a fighting bull ranch. We're breeding them, we're raising them, we're hauling them. Uh, you know, it, it's crazy to think what I've seen for since I was just a kid 
you know, on the internet at ranches in Spain, Mexico, where these bulls originated from. And to be sitting here on my ranch, you know, it, it's something that I'm so passionate about. And now we're, we're, you know, we're four or five years into raising these things. You know, we've got some calves that are coming up that, you know, is our own bloodline of a fighting bull. It is what makes me, me. I get to go do this on the weekends or the week, and then I get to come back home and I get to go out in the pasture and look at these animals that is literally what created who I am. There's a lot of cool things coming down the pike, be known with the fighting bulls from the, from the Flying W. I've, I've made nine trips to the, the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo consecutively. I, I don't know how, like I don't understand how it has went by this fast or this quick, but it, uh, it seems like it was just yesterday getting the call from my first finals, which was in 2013, and you know, being that young guy, just being in the PRCA for two years, getting the call, you know, hey, you're headed to Vegas, you're going to the bright lights, really was a dream come true. To be wheeling my gear bag into the Thomas and Mac to go to the National Finals Rodeo is something that I can't explain. It was just so surreal. It was something that envisioned, I could see it, you know, having these dreams and, and fighting all these bulls and, you know, just the kid growing up and, and chasing this crazy dream and then actually getting that call to go to the bright lights. You know, there's, it was just unreal. As dangerous of a sport as this is and, and never shine from the sword, you know, I think really comes with a high price to pay. You know, God willing, this is something that I've, I've worked my whole life for and it's something that I live for. I don't want to be the guy that hung on too long and, and try to stay in the game until I'm 50 years old or 55 years old, but, you know, as long as I my body is allowing and I feel good and I, and I feel like I'm still at a very high level of bullfighting, you know, I'm gonna continue to push and, and chase them, chase the dream. You know, I really feel like this has been a, a truly designed by God thing and, and all the blessings that's come along with it and getting to do what I've got to do in, in my young career, uh, not only once, but you know, nine trips to the NFR, uh, eight trips to the PBR World Finals, countless bullfight titles, Rodeo Salinas, and then getting to go year in and year out to the most premier rodeos and bull ridings in the industry every week. Are headed to the arena. It's championship Sunday here at the Daddy of Them All. You know, that, that's something a guy can hang his hat on and, and be proud of. And I still feel like I'm young and still got a long ways to go yet. I do believe later in life when it, it's time to, to hang my hat up on my bullfighting career, uh, I think I'd go crazy if I wasn't still around or involved with it. So it's a lot of work. It, it's often stressful. You know, it's really hard to, to keep all the trains on the tracks. When you get to feeling down or feeling like you're overwhelmed, you'll just go for a little ride and look around. Uh, it, it explains itself really quick. What a better way to do it than, than getting to put on a cowboy hat, get a horse bag, and, and go do, I, I can't even call it a job no more because this is literally what I've been working for. This is, this is what we strive for every day. Rather if I'm on the ranch, building fence, feeding cattle, uh, literally in the arena training to fight bulls, working out, every day goes into something to, to be better. Being a cowboy and getting to do what we do here at the ranch, day in and day out, uh, there's not a better life. That's the way I live it every day.